What's up, losers? Welcome back to another video. We are back in 2K22, 2K23, my bad. We are doing a rebuild of the Oklahoma City Thunder. And yes, this team has Chet, not Chet, yeah, Chet now. And, but bad news, he's probably, it's not new to this, but Chet is now injured for the whole season for, I think, something in his foot. I don't, I don't know the exact injury, but he does have a, like, foot, some foot injury that he's going to be out all season. And what I'm going to try, because I know Oklahoma has a ton of draft picks, and I mean a ton of draft picks, I'm going to go try to get a, you know, some, a lot of star players, you know, like LeBron James. I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting with all these picks. So the first few minutes is just going to be me experimenting, just trying stuff out. It may not be a good move. Trading Shea for LeBron, I don't know what I'm doing. It's just having fun, just doing experiments, you know? And I'm still getting used to the player slash pick, like, clicking thing and all that. But, yeah. Um, so, I I recorded a... I just want to just talk about something else so you see what I'm testing out these trades. I recorded the first Jordan challenge. And... I don't have the footage anymore of that. So, I'm going to have to redo the footage. You're not going to be able to see the intro anymore, but I'm going to have to redo the first game. I got like two stars on it. I couldn't get the nine rebounds because Patrick Ewing got like 16 rebounds because he's unstoppable. But yeah, so I'm going to have to re-record that and I'll edit it. It'll probably come down, come out next week maybe or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to do... Yeah, this, I'm just testing out which star players I can get because I want just a huge star player or if not I'm going to use all these pictures to get a ton of different like you know a ton of like 85 plus overalls like 87 overalls because I'm going to be able to do that with all these draft picks that you're seeing and they're all first round draft picks and they're all decently valued they're all like around two two to four stars and that's crazy so yeah I'm going to I guess I'm going to try to go a different round get Pascal um, I'm gonna see what I could do. I don't know if I want him running at my center because I don't. I just truly see him as a power forward. I didn't like that he kind of ran at the um, center this past season. I get that Scotty Barnes started at the four, but I truly see him as a four because he's and we just traded for him. He's gonna be now our student new starting center. But yeah, let's. We don't have a small forward anymore, so, so let's go maybe get someone else let's go get scotty barnes let's get his teammate and we could put him at the four maybe he could be one of our backups if we get even a better power forward so i think we could do this Derek favors let's throw you in there let's add some picks i don't know how many picks i want to give up but um it's going to be a lot so three first round picks that are actually really valuable i'm going to try to put in second round picks but who knows if that's going to work so let's add in another first round pick and Actually, five first round picks, but we do have a lot more. So the teammates are reunited in Oklahoma. So our team is sounding really good so far, but I need to fill out that small forward spot. I don't know if I want Josh Giddy starting. Um, I'll see what I can get for uh, DeJounte Murray. Sure, I'll give up this trade. I don't want... This seems fine to me, so I guess I'll just accept it. I'm not giving up any picks, and I'm not giving up too many valuable players. So, we do not have the Twin Towers anymore with um, Poku and um, Chet. That may not be a funny joke. I may get canceled because, you know, uh, you know, but it's whatever. That's their nickname. So, DeJounte Murray at the 1, Shea at the 2. Now let's go get a new starting small forward. We still have a boatload of first-round picks left, but let's see if we can get Chris Middleton. And let's get rid of that Shea because I don't want that. Um, I don't want to trade Shea. I'll see what I can do. I'm not trading Chet. I'll see what other players I can get or give up, but I do not have a whole lot of big contracts. So let's see, maybe RJ Barrett. He will be a good starting four or no three for us. And he could fill out that two spot when he needs him to. So Ty Jerome, I'm gonna throw you in there. And maybe Jalen Williams. There's like another couple Jalen Williams in the NBA. One place for the Clippers, I believe. 
Uh, I'm not sure. I think they. Are. I know like two of them got drafted by Oklahoma, and one there's another one somewhere. If I'm completely right, C please correct me in the comments. But I'm gonna throw in another first round pick in there, and hopefully they accept it. Uh, but hopefully, I didn't don't want to give up basically all my first round picks, even though I have a lot. But I think it was four and a second rounder. Uh, so he's gonna be our new starting three. Um. So I'm going to just probably fill out our bench right now. I'll see what I could do. Um, maybe I can, maybe want to get Tyrese Maxey as a backup. Um, I don't want to give up Josh Giddy though. I'm not going to give up Shea. I accidentally clicked him. Um, I'll see what I could do here to get him as a backup. Another good backup I would like is Jordan Poole. If this doesn't work, I'll go get him. Uh, they're not accepting these. So I might... Uh, I'll see what I could do with second rounders and they are not accepting that maybe if I have another first round pick or another player to give up I'll do that um, um, I'm gonna this will be good for us if I get Tyrese Maxey because it'll be another point guard or a good backup guard but it seems like it's not working so I will see what I could do to maybe fill out maybe get a backup three like Sadiq Bey um, He'll be a good backup, you know, three and four. He'll be good. Maybe I'll give up Trey Mann, I guess, and maybe a first-round pick. Um, I feel like this team is going to be stacked. Um, I don't know if it'll win um, 69 games like the Chicago Bulls won in my last rebuild. But, yeah, so let's, they're not accepting this right now. Maybe I have to throw in one more pick, and they're not accepting it. Maybe I should have changed it to a first-round pick because I do have still have some of those, and they accepted it. So, yeah, this is what our team is looking like right now. I think is good. I'm going to get one better backup because I still want to give Chet some playing time. I'm not going to trade him um, because he's still going to be a valuable piece. So, let's see what we could get just as just a better Max Struss. Sure, I'll take you. You'll be a good just shooter when you get playing time. I don't know how much you're going to get. 13 minutes, it says, but it's whatever. Our team is looking really good right now. Um, so, let's just start simulating. So I'm going to see you guys either at the trade deadline or at the end of the season. I will see. Catch you guys there. So we are now at the trade deadline and we are 35 and 19 and we are the second seed right behind the Mavericks. We could easily take that first seeded spot. Our team is still looking really good. Um, we So let's look at our player stats. Shea looks like is leading with 22, 5, and 6. DeJounte Murray's up there. Pascal's up there, and then everybody else is doing really good. So, I don't think I want to make any trades, but I will see my options. I, I don't know, man. Because, yeah, so I don't really want... I don't like the idea of Pascal Siakam running our center position. So, I'll see if I can get an upgrade. There's Paul George. I like the idea of getting that because... Um, I'll be, we'll be getting a massive upgrade at the small forward spot. RJ will come off the bench. and But I did see BAM. I'm debating between these two trades. But either one will work good. Because I still have Chet that could, Chet that could um, be our new starting center. But I really think I'm going to go with this small forward spot. I don't know what makes, makes me just lean towards more of, a, uh, more of the Paul George trade. But yeah. Um, I guess I'll accept it. Chet's going to be our new starting center. And then Paul George is now our starting small forward. And yeah, so I think we are all good. I'll see what I could do. Maybe Sadiq Bey to get a better power forward or something. Or just a center. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do because our team is really good. Maybe Rudy Gobert. I don't have enough money to make that up though. I'm just going to try to make my team absolutely stacked as possible because that's what you can do with draft picks. So maybe Kristaps, actually. I'm not exactly sure because I don't want to give up a whole lot. Um, so I really think I'm good. Here's our final lineup. Chet is the new starting center. So we're all good. Paul George is now our new starting small forward, which is a massive upgrade. Brings more defense. So let's get to back to simulating. So yeah. Um, all of the new lineups are really like, it's really cool to see now because in my older rebuilds, or not my older ones, I was making those last week with 2K22, but now it's good to see an updated roster and new things that I could do. So yeah, 
Uh, we are currently 44 and or 45 and 22, so we are doing really good. It's really cool to see the chemistry and the fan interest and the profit. Now the profit doesn't really matter, but the fan interest and chemistry is just still. Now they added that into the corner again. Same with the record. You couldn't see that. You had to all go to the standings or the team stats to look at that again. And yeah, so Luka Doncic twins MVP. Look at his crazy stats. Seems like they've gotten better from 2K22. So he's shooting 44% from three. Paolo Boncaro wins Rookie of the Year. Ben Simmons, six man. Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year. And Bones Highland. And uh, there's Doc Rivers. Seems like most of the awards are the same except for Bones Highland and Rookie of the Year. Here's the all NBA teams and the all defensive teams. I'll get there in a minute. Um, so there's DeJounte Murray. He made all defensive second team. So yeah, we were the, the first seed. We got that seed taken. So yeah, I'm going to shorten this to an eight man. I will, yeah, I'm going to shorten it to an eight man. Our team is looking absolutely stacked. So yeah, so we we're doing amazing. I'll simulate the play-in, and then I'll simulate the first round. We sweep Portland. Can we sweep the playoffs? No, we lose two games in Portland, and we beat them in six. And then, oh, there's the Western Conference Finals MVP goes to Paul George. It is cool that they added that in, and Bam wins it for the Eastern Conference. We're facing Miami in the NBA Finals. We are up 2-3-0, and can we sweep them? No. And we beat them in five. We lose three games in the entire finals. Shea wins finals MVP, shooting 50% from three and 57% from the field. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.